Hey guys, Harsh Quince here. Welcome back to my Knights of the Old Republic playthrough. Last week we uh, beat the prologue and crash landed on Terrace. We also fought in the arena and picked up some other quests. So this week we're going to basically just walk around and keep exploring and see where that gets us. Um, let's look at our quest log real quick. So nothing really to... I guess we'll continue this search for ba Bastila because these other ones we can... Um, do as we go along so we'll just keep searching around and see what's going on so basically yeah we're just gonna be exploring terrace um like i said i know terrace i know somewhat of the jedi or the next planet oh god it's a spoiler um but not so much sorry the camera's all wonky um not so much the uh, i guess we'll go to the apartments not so much after that so it will become a blind playthrough um, so basically, we're just going to explore these apartments and see what's going on. Um, I don't think we'll get in trouble for no lockpicking. Got it. Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he, if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. Uh, what are you babbling about? Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. You mean, you're not here to kill me? But I, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? Uh, maybe I can help you with your problem with Davik. I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zax in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. Um. Here, I've got 200 credits you can have. You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You've saved my life. Oh, I better go give this to Davik right away. And we lost credits, but we gained experience. Um, also, last week I noticed the music was very freaking loud. So I lowered that down this week. Um, hopefully it's much better, but we'll see. I try to mix the audio a little bit better. So we're just going to explore these apartments. Yeah, there's loot. And we might pick up a quest, too. So... Um, I'm thinking maybe we will, uh, I don't know, what's the Sith Trooper doing? Just move along. There's nothing to see here. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Did you sell them to the Terizian underground? Start talking. I want answers. Please, I'm only a visitor to Terrace, trapped here by your quarantine. I know nothing about the Terizian gun underground or your missing Sith uniforms. What's going on in, on in there? You're a little too curious for your own good, civilian. This doesn't concern you. I know all about Sith interrogations. This isn't going to end well. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. Uh, maybe the alien really doesn't know anything. Just stay out of this if you know what's good for you. I won't let you kill a defenseless prisoner. Um, so there's really two options to this. We're gonna defend him, so I won't let you kill this def uh, to kill a defenseless prisoner. What was that? Did I hear you right? Let us kill him? How can you stop us? Time to teach the civilian the penalty for defying the Sith. How are you? Wow, we don't want that guy. We want this guy up close. Uh, let's see if we can switch to Karth and maybe get this guy. Alright, switch back to us. And uh -huh. hit. Ooh, we got lights at points. Nope, there's one more guy we gotta go. Yep. Hopefully Karth will follow and help us out. Ow. Oh, great. 
Thank you, human. The Sith would have killed me. Of that I am certain. I don't know who you are, but it's clear you are no friend of the Sith. Among my people, there is a saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Like you, I hate the Sith. That is why I stole the Sith in those forms. For the hidden Bex. Uh... What are you talking about? In the lower city, there are some who do not bow to the conquerors. Swoop gangs like the Hidden Vex are gathering resources to one day strike against the Sith oppressors. Yo. If you wish to strike another blow against the Sith, you would be wise to journey to the lower city, yo, and speak with, Gar with Gadanthek, the leader of the Hidden Vex. Guy. Uh, what are the Hidden Becks planning? You would have to ask Adam Beck to know the answer to that question. They approached me, and my only role was to obtain a Sith uniform. Uh, can you take me to Gadden? Access to the lower city is restricted. I've never actually met Gadden. My only dealings were with members of this Hidden Beck gang. Yeah. Uh, what are the Hidden Becks playing? Oh, where did that one? Can I get one of those uniforms from you? I am sorry, but all the uniforms I have were given to the Beck. I suppose you could take the uniforms from the bodies of the Sith soldiers in this room if you wanted. Oh, dope. Um... Alright, I should be going now. As should I. The Sith know my face now. I must find somewhere to hide on this road. Thank you once again, human. Dope. So, uh, can we search this guy? And I think we're stuck. Hopefully that. Can I move? Okay, there we go. I don't know why it does that. I really don't like that, though. Looks so we got Sith armor and a blast rifle. Okay. Now we should have access to the lower city. Um, okay, we'll get all these. We'll get all those. Uh, let's keep exploring up here, though, real quick. There might be more. Um, yep. Just got to check around every corner. Um, so basically, yeah, so the other way is that Sith person that was off, whatever, hello, child, uh, that was off duty at the cantina. No problem. Got it. We could have persuaded her. What's going on in here? I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through their home. I'm not losing, I'm not getting dark side points, so I guess it doesn't matter. Oh. Um, I think that's it for up here, maybe. Yep, so we're gonna go to the upper city north. Let's just, oh wow. Let's just explore the north a little bit. So that's where we came from with that. We came from uh, the uh, other place that's like this. So we're just gonna keep walking. Maybe we'll find some other stuff too going on. Oh, what's these guys? What is this planet coming to, huh? <gasps> Swami's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to the lower city so you belong, Swami? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Uh, hey guys, can we all be friends here? Let me buy you a drink. A drink? Hey, hey! Bruce Swami, you ain't so bad. Come on, boys, this Swami's pie in the next round. <laughs> No way, forget it. No more drinks. We're late enough as it is. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, Slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. Dope. Pretty easy. Um, so yeah, let's go over here real quick and see what's going on. So yeah, basically the, like, name people you can talk to, but... Let's see. Ooh, a droid shop. Let's see if we can get a droid. Hello. T3 and T3M4. A customer. Come in, come in. Janice Nall at your service. Welcome to my droid and droid supply shop. My droid and droid, yeah, my droid and droid supply shop. 
with team and bone Always and good thong. to see a new face. Mule Customers are hard to come by. Um, a lot of terrorist citizens won't even come in here. They, they refuse to shop at a store owned by a Twi'lek. Uh, what do they have against Twi'leks? They don't like aliens much here in the upper terrace. They tolerate those Twi'leks. But they'd rather see us as dancers in the canteen out of a successful business owner. Is it because we have tentacles? You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. <laughs> I guess stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. You'll see a few aliens around, but most of the non humans stick to the lower city. I've learned not to dwell on it, though. I try to stay focused on running my story. My selection is a bit limited right now. The Sith confiscated all my assault droids, but I got a utility droid you might find interesting. Interesting. Utility droid, what do they do? What don't they do? They're great at making vehicle repairs for starters. Pretty handy to have in a fight. Small but tough with a surprising amount of firepower. And you can sit on them. And there's no better code breaker or security system sliced around. Not that I've ever, I ever, I ever condone you to do anything illegal, of course. Uh... Let me see your droids. I, I got only two droids left. A rebuilt T3 HA unit for 50 credits and a top of the line T3 M4 model with all the options. But he's not for sale. And why bring him up? Um, tell me about the top of the line T3 M4 droid. The T3 M4 is the best utility droid ever built. Top notch code breaker. Expert security. Programming Android repair he, He's even got the firepower to be handy in battle. And sit on the guitar. The list little guy is an absolute title line, but he's not for sale. He's a custom job I'm holding for a very special client. Um, I want to ask you some questions. I don't know if I can help you with your questions. Don't get out much. I prefer spending time with my droids to mingling with the terrorist citizens, but I'll try to help you out. Um... No, I want to talk about the droid. Um, do you know anything about those escape pods that crashed here on tri Terrace? People are saying a few of the pods crashed down in the inner city. I blame it on human error. A droid wouldn't lose control of the ship like that. Anything else? Um, let's just see what you have for sale. You want to see my inventory or are you here to buy utility droid? My price is very reasonable and all my droids come with a money back guarantee. Money back guarantee, huh? In case I don't like them. Uh, utility droids, what do they do? Let's skip through that. Let me see your droids. Um, here's 50 credits for the T3H8 unit. You know, a bargain when you see one. This little guy's as reliable as used droids get. I did the reconditioning on him myself. Don't worry. He'll follow you everywhere. He's very loyal. Is there anything else you need? Um, uh, that's it. Maybe I'll see you around later. Don't forget my store motto. If you need a droid parts, Janice now is your gal. Alright, let's go. Shithole, shitfuck. T3H8. T3 hate. You falling? Oh, there he is. Oh no, what happened? Oh fuck. Alright. Hey, uh, lady. Welcome back to my shop. Hey, where's that little T3 hate? It blew up. I came to get my money back. It blew up, huh? I thought I'd take care of that little cross wiring problem. Well, don't worry, I run an honest business here. I don't have to give you a refund, but I don't want to lose a customer. Have your security credits back. No hard feelings, right? Oh, I lady. Uh, no hard feelings. Um... Nah, we're not gonna be a dick. Glad to hear it. I can't afford to make my customers unhappy. Business is tough enough as, as it is. So anything else you need? Uh, let me see your droids. 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 let see what's over here real quick. And then maybe we might go back to the cantina for a second. And then we might go to the underworld. Uh, so 
So there's a Sith guard, and I think that's the yep, that's the Sith base. So let's go back to the uh, cantina. Um, shouldn't take us too long. We might do another fight, and we might listen learn. to me, people. That is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning before it is too late. Friends and fellow humans, I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. Uh, vermin and scum? What are you talking about? I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them! Listen, friend, for these hard, dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action. We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't know which is worse, your hate-mongering or your ignorance. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on, we should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. You're right. All right, let's go see if we can get a little bit more experience before we get on to the lower level. So we're going to hit up the cantina, probably do another fight. Um, I think there's one more like little quest we can do in there. Um, basically, I don't know how long this series is going to take us. I'm assuming probably not too long, but... I'm not 100% sure. Are these all the drunk guys? I no, just walked over here. Uh, the drunk waves sheepishly at you. He doesn't speak. He seems to be having trouble standing. Alright, cool. I don't know if there's anything we can do with that. So yeah, we're going to go back to the cantina. Um, talk to the, like, there's a few people we could have talked to last week. Yeah, there's one person I forgot. So, three things we're going to do in the cantina before we head back. There's the medical guy who gave us the rat ghoul. So really a lot of the quests are in the lower city, but I kind of... So you can see all these people walking around. Like they know what they're doing. Um, so yeah, th those are the escape pods. That's the one that we came in on. Um, so basically, yeah, we're just going to explore the cantina. Kind of get that one all figured out. And then um, we will go to the lower city. So, uh, hopefully Cantina won't take us another one. And we have those Sith uniforms, so we'll just head on in here. Um, so we want to see, there's a guy to our right, right when we walk in. Bendak Starkiller. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. Auto prints? What are you talking about? What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendak Starkiller, the most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Every one of them a death match. You don't, uh, you don't look so tough to me. Maybe you'll take me on. I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using stun blasters. There was nobody left to challenge me anyway. I've seen you in the dueling ring, but you haven't impressed me. Now, if you could beat all these other pretenders, that might get my attention. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. Since I'm not going to answer them, you'd just be wasting your breath. So... Move along before people see us talking and think I'm signing auto prints today. I don't want to be mobbed. Uh, auto... Okay, never mind. I'll be going now. Off with you then. I'm done with this conversation anyway. So if we beat all those people, we will, uh... be able to fight him. Which is a spoiler, but I figured... So maybe we'll Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Um, sure, I'll buy your deck. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Um, yeah, we're gonna do a Pazak lesson. All right, continue. I think I remember how to play this. It's pretty simple. Uh, we're gonna play, I think, two games of it. Um, 
you have your face up cards a little higher than your opponent's hand so it's like basically 21. the player's total is greater than 20 at the end of a turn a bus with opponents with, okay all right six okay so basically we're gonna go through all this um let's do a four. Oh wait we'll go end turn your opponent uses the okay so we got a three and turn 19 we're gonna stand okay they beat us all right and turn pretty simple um we'll stand i guess that sucks and you can play hands so when we get close enough okay they busted on that okay we oh no they won that all right end turn 14 let's play a five we'll stand if we lose this it's fine we'll just play there we go we won the set okay let's just win this game real quick because i think this might be a uh, quest too i know this isn't very exciting um let's enter i got a, i got a good feeling perfect and we'll play this five what <laughs> you know minus four all right hopefully we can get this um oh shit i didn't want to do that all right we'll just stand did we lose nope got one more Okay, we lost 50 credits. Uh, let's check our quest log. Zach rules. How do we do this? Do we have to win to get? All right. 